Good morning, warriors. It's Lisa Wolf here, and today is Stay Strong Saturday. On Stay Strong Saturday, um, the key to staying strong, especially during like um, journeys like this, um, especially when you're sick and and or going through heartbreak or whatever, is taking. Um, I hate to say this, but you have to take ownership of your own healing and and doing it the healthy way even if it doesn't seem like it's logic for other people and you got to learn how to trust yourself and the thing is is that I'm learning that because my choices in my past haven't been the greatest but that was then but this is now and you got to face the now. But when you're going through things like this, thing, um, things come up and they boil to the surface. And you can't sweep that stuff underneath the rug anymore. You got to face these things. And that's what I'm doing. And I thank God that he is with me. Because Exodus 14, 14, that's what it means. It means like... Yes, you're going through it, and yes, you have to fight through it and face those giants, but God is with you. It's like um, David when he faced Goliath. I, I, you know, it, it's, so, it's so generic and elementary to mention this, but the thing is, is that he stepped out of himself, and he was after God's own heart. And he was scared, but he did it anyways. And the thing is, is that he still had his um, eyes on the Lord. And he trusted the Lord. And so that's why he could trust himself. And the thing is, is that you can trust yourself and you can love yourself. And you can do all this for yourself because and do it in a non-selfish way i know it's a lot because i mentioned the self a lot but the thing is you can heal do healthy healing with the lord because for yourself not for um not for your job not for your kids even. I mean, that's kind of harsh to say. Not for um, your husband or spouse. Not for your parents. Not for your friends. Not for your church. The thing is, it starts with you. Because you have to have that relationship with the Lord first. And that is a relationship with you. I mean, like, all those things are a good why, but nine times out of ten, it boils down to what do you desire? What are your hearts? What what does your heart tell you to do? Like, um, I was, like, doing my little walk today at the battlefield, and the grounds guy, he came by, and he was, like, just getting an update from me and, and I was telling him I said well you know there's a plan going on and, and God is gonna see the way and and I'm just learning you know to trust the journey the the trust him and the thing is in the long run I'm trusting because I said to him I said yeah I keep on fighting these battles but I'm gonna keep on pushing through because this journey just started this is life you got to fight for life every day. Like I get up and I'm just like thanking the Lord. Oh my gosh. I thank you Jesus for the breath in my lungs. Yes, it does still hurt. But I'm here and I'm pushing through every day. And I said, I'm pushing through every day for my family. And then the Holy Spirit dropped in me. Like I'm being like straight up honest with you guys. I can't hold this in anymore. He said, Yes, it's awesome that you're doing it for your family and for me. But what about you? What about you? 
He goes, you're doing this for you too. And it's okay to say, you know what? I'm doing this for me. And, 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 and that's okay. I'm not used to saying stuff like that. So, and, and, and when that guy, I, I, I said that to that guy. I said, I said, yeah, I'm fighting every day for my family. And when the Holy Spirit, and then, and then, um, the Holy Spirit dropped in, in my heart and he said, say for yourself too. And I was just like, I can't say that. That is like so selfish. He said, you're not, you, you do not have a, a, a Saul's heart. You do not have a Saul's heart. Your heart is for me in the kingdom. And he said, it's okay to say, I'm doing this for me. He said, it's okay to say, you know what? That you love God and you love your family and you love everyone that that's around you or listening, listening to these videos. But it's okay to say, you know what? I'm proud of myself of where I have come from. Like a year ago, I could barely like walk to the bathroom. I, I barely could breathe. But where I'm at now, it's okay to celebrate. That is a huge win. And it's okay to say, I'm doing this journey. Yes, for the kingdom, of course. But he said, it's a, and for your family, of course. But what are you doing every day you get up? And this is not about bragging or boasting. And I said, I fight. I said, I fight. I fight through the pain. I fight through the fatigue. I fight through the nausea. You know, being nauseated and still eating and drinking and preparing meals and going to work out, even though that was, it, that's just installed in me because I love doing that. I love doing something physical. That's my love language. I love doing something physical. And it doesn't mean just sex. But like, because he has prepared me for this journey years ago, years ago. And he said, this isn't your first rodeo and it's okay. It is okay to do this for you and to love yourself and discover the woman he said the warrior because he said woman of God. I had that those initials in my um, in my mind. I saw W.O.G. And he said, no. For you, that means warrior of God. And it's OK. It's more than OK. He said, walk in it. Own it. This is the authority I have given you. In Jesus' name. And don't be ashamed or feel guilty about it. Something came and tried to destroy you. And kill you. You almost died. You almost died. Not once, but twice. And he said, it's not your time yet. And it's okay to find your identity in me. And I was just like, okay. That's how the Lord speaks to me. He gives me tough <laughs> love with love. That's how I stay strong. That's how I stay strong. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And know that you are loved. And you are not alone. And you are a warrior of God. W-O-G. That is you. God bless.